I have time to finish smoking these people? Um, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the track. It is super windy today. Um, today is Thursday, uh, which is the day before a meet. So everybody kind of just has a competition warm up, but I have a lot more than that. So tomorrow I'm just throwing jab in the meet. So today isn't really needed as a competition warm up. So I'm gonna do hurdles with uh, Lockheed and Joy. And then I have some high jump as well. So I think the workout is a couple five stride drills to work on my trail leg. And then I'll talk you guys through it of what I'm doing. And then uh, a couple runs over one or two, and then one over eight and then one over six and then some high jump full jumps so today's a good day so we're just gonna get warming up yeah today's a lot cooler than the other days which is probably good because yeah it's the day before meet and you don't want to be outside for too long today in hurdles i'm just gonna focus on my trail leg because that was the biggest thing that like was off in uh, uh sam adams um, yeah, it's, it comes like way too high and then also just like way too far in front of me so I just need to keep it tight and like faster and like lower to the hurdle. That's why we're doing the five step drills to work on just like that trail leg whipping through and not coming up too high. And Joy in Loctopus, we, we've been calling him Loctopus because that's his name and Wizard, if you guys haven't played the card game Wizard, you're missing out. Look it up. I'm the best at it. Uh, oh yeah, P.S. It's my birthday. Woo! 28. I'm a little old. So Joy and Lockie are going to three hurdles, so I'll probably be able to go out of blocks with them for the first couple. And then, like I said, I have eight. One run over eight, one run over six. So yeah. Oh god, Vicky's setting up the hurdles and they're really far. Hello everybody. So, um, today I'm just gonna kind of talk you through a couple things that we do hopefully help you guys out with um, hurdling in the future. Um, so I think the first tip that I could give is just getting proper technique over the hurdle. Um, so I think you just start with your basic hurdle drills. Um, we do this every day um, before we hurdle. It just kind of reinforces what we want to do over the hurdle. And also just a really good warm up. Firstly, we just do lead leg. Um, I personally like to do my drills a little bit slower than other people just because I like to reinforce what I'm doing over the hurdle. Kind of a little bit of a practice. So I go over with my right leg. So just walking over them, bringing the knee up real high, kind of like your running technique. Um, because the faster you can get over the hurdle, the faster you're going to run. Um, you can only speed up when you're on the ground. So reducing your time in the air is super, super important for hurdles. Um, and then after that, uh, we'll just go to skipping. So just again, focusing on bringing that knee real high, making a nice lean forward with the body, getting that arm up. Um, and then we go to trail leg. Um, trail leg is the leg that you take off on. So just trying to whip that leg around as fast as possible. Because again, the faster you can get off and on the ground over the hurdle, the faster you're going to run. So just reducing your time in the air is super key for hurdlers. So we'll do these drills usually two or three times per leg, just to really activate all those muscles that you need to get going. And then after that, if you're a 400 hurdler, you might do them on your other leg as well, um, just because for 400 hurdles or 300 hurdles, if you're younger, you do go over with both legs. So you might wanna practice doing both. Um, so after that, uh, we kind of do this right over the middle drill. So placing your hands on the hurdles 
uh, you'll go over with your lead and this will really force you to actually get your knee up and with a good forward lean unless you have super super long arms and then just trying to pull your trail through your hands so it keeps it tight keeps your forward lean going and then walk to the next one and do the same thing just really focusing on your trail being super tight and getting your lead leg up super high or you won't get over the hurdle and then last drill is just a skipping down the middle just focusing on your lead leg and your arms at this point and just trying to whip your trail through as quick as possible okay so once we're done doing like the uh drills and stuff usually put the spikes on and then do a couple strides get used to your spikes and then I'm going just straight to five striders. So the hurdles are pushed out uh, two feet from the marks that they're usually at, just to give people a little bit more room. So, and then yeah, it's just like five strides in between. So they're only at 39. So I'm gonna really focus on pulling my trail through and getting my trail leg down as fast as possible. And if that doesn't work, then I'll think of a different cue. So after doing a couple strides and stuff, um, we sometimes do drills over the side of the hurdles. Um, I didn't do any this day uh, just because we're more in a competition phase and um, I find these very difficult. So that's something that I could really work on. So Lockie's doing a five stride lead leg just going over the side of the hurdle um, it just kind of takes the ease off of going over the entire hurdle so you can really just focus on one thing so Lockie's doing a lead so just trying to whip that leg up really hard and trying to reduce the amount of extra movement so just trying to come straight up straight down and keep as balanced as possible. You can also do this uh, drill with a trail leg. So Lockie would just go to the right side and pretend like there's kind of a small hurdle in front of him with his lead and then whip his trail. So I didn't get that unfortunately, but it's the exact same thing as what he's doing, but on the other side. So after those drills, we tend to play over hurdles um first before fully hurdling so these are at uh five stride spacing so in sprint hurdles most people do eight strides to the first hurdle and then in between each hurdle it's three strides so we tend to play over the hurdles in our warm-up so we push them out three or four steps past the mark that they're supposed to be on so it just gives you a little bit more room to get five strides in so you're just kind of focusing on just the rhythm over the hurdle so you can see in this first video i'm a little bit off balance and there's a lot of extra movement coming from my upper body we just try to make that movement as smooth as possible because like i was saying the faster you can get back onto the ground, the faster you're gonna run because you can't speed up when you're in the air. So switching to the front angle. So the second run was a lot smoother. Um, a lot of that extra movement was taken away. So you can see here, trying to keep your trail really tight and bring it up and around and then directly under you. So it just kind of looks like you're sprinting in between the hurdles and also trying to keep your upper body facing forward as much as possible so you can see that i have a bit of rotation to the left when i'm coming over the hurdle so that's a big thing that we've been focusing on is just trying to eliminate that because the more that you can stay leaning forward and not rotating the faster you're going to run because all the extra movement is not going into the track. The next thing that we would go to would be just like 
a couple runs over one at a blocks just to get used to the blocks. So I was having a very hard time getting to the first hurdle on this day in particular. Um, I switched to seven strides. Uh, so that just means you're pushing out from the blocks and you're only taking seven strides instead of eight. So anybody trying to switch to seven strides, um, your rhythm is a little bit changed. So instead of being super quick out of the blocks like a sprinter, you would be a little bit more deliberate with your pushes and they're a lot bigger. So you're kind of trying to get um, a little bit more length and a little bit more power. So on this day, I was struggling pretty bad. So we just decided to take the blocks out of it so I could still get a good hurdle practice in. So my workout was just one run over eight hurdles and one run over six. You can see here, I'm still doing seven strides, but just not out of blocks. And you can see at this first hurdle, my trail leg gets a little wonky. So trying to eliminate that movement is something that you would really wanna try to fix. Trying to get over the hurdle with not too much gap in between you and the hurdle, because again, you can't accelerate when you're in the air. So just trying to decrease your air time in hurdles is, is hugely important and keeping your shoulders facing forward. So that run was a little uh, messy, you could say. There's just a lot of rotation in my upper body and just a lot of extra movement that isn't needed. So in my second run over six, it was cleaned up a little bit. You can see my trail is a lot better on this run than it was on the, on the first run. One of the biggest things for a good hurdle time is to get proper technique first and then move into actually sprinting. The better technical hurdlers will run faster. So even if you're a little bit slower in a flat 100, if you have better technique, you will probably win the race due to so many hurdles being there and those that maybe jump over the hurdles a little bit more or they have a lot of extra movement, they're twisting, you're gonna beat them to the ground off the hurdle and then therefore beating them over the course of 100 meters or 110 meters. So that's really it guys for the hurdle tips and tricks video. Um, if you guys have more specific questions, just comment below um, and let us know what exactly you'd like to know or maybe a cue that we think of. So this is just a general video talking about kind of what we think about during our hurdle practice and what uh, competition hurdle practice kind of looks like. Make sure you uh, subscribe below for more videos and tips and tricks. If you guys like this video or want to see more videos like this, maybe for the other events in the decathlon, just uh, let us know below. So again, hope you guys have a good day and like and subscribe and talk to you guys soon. Bye.